Today I am going to discuss about cloud and PowerPoint estimation. This is part two of the video. Uh, many of you were asking me to put a video shot in lab. So that is why I have came up with this idea. However, the theory part is already covered in part one. So please refer part one video. Now I was not having cloud and PowerPoint apparatus as of now. So what I took was a simple flat bottom glass tube and boiling tube and thermometer to show you how do you estimate cloud point. Now, as you can see here, a thermometer has been kept in this flat bottom glass tube. So, first you should be able to take your oil here. I have taken a coconut oil here for easy reference and you just have to put a thermometer inside because what we want is to note the temperature. Then you have to take a beaker in which a chilled water is there and then you have to put it inside. So, you have to decrease the temperature. Meanwhile, you can take a round bottom glass tube also. So I have taken both of the things. I have a boiling tube and I have a flat bottom glass tube. Now after some time you will see that there is some cloudy appearance as you can see on the screen. This is what cloudy or hazy appearance look like. Obviously when the temperature goes down. Now this temperature is referred as cloud point. So first time when you observed a cloudiness or a haziness is known as cloud point. So you can see the cloud point has gone. You have taken the reading but then your aim is to find out pore point also. And now if you see this cloudiness will keep on intensify. So you just have to keep it in this ice cold mixture as shown here. And meanwhile you just have to monitor the progress of how is this intensifying. So you will see with time this particular uh, paraffin wax uh, will start precipitating, will intensify and it will start to freeze. Now we have already noted cloud point, right? The temperature first time when we have observed a cloudy appearance or a hazy appearance, right? Now what we have to note is a pore point. And as discussed in my previous video, pore point was the temperature at which it ceases to pour. So for that you have to tilt the tube just like I am doing right now. And if you will see that the lubricating oil is still flowing, you have to keep it back. You have to further uh, cool it till it ceases to flow, till it is stops flowing, till it is stops pouring. It is just below the freezing point. So you just don't have to freeze it, but you just have to see what was the last temperature up to which it was flowing. Now you can see this round bottom tube here. The oil is still flowing inside. Also, the oil is there. Semi solid portion is there. So it's not completely uh, almost solidified. That means the pore point is not reached. So what you have to do is to put it back in the ice chilled mixture, put it back in the beaker where I have taken the cold water and let it intensify. Now the temperature is obviously decreasing. Cloud point is already reached. Pore point would be lesser than the cloud point, right? So you just have to, you know, decrease the temperature. So put it back and observe. Now if you can observe it is still flowing, put it back. After some time again observe. Keep this and at the end you will be able to see just like this. Now see it's almost intensified, it's almost freezed and it has stopped flowing. So the freezing point is not yet reached but that is what pore point is just below the freezing point. So what we have learned today is cloud point and pore point. Please refer both of the videos in order to understand the concept and thank you for watching. Please hit like if you have liked the comment that will give me the motivation. Thank you so much and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.